But let's get down to what you're really interested in, the actual prisoners. Like, why are these people in the most brutal prison in the world? A good morning, Mosquito Douche News. Hopefully it's hanging. Don't ask me what it is. Today we're gonna be talking about prison. I know a lot about the thing. I don't know about personal experience, but this prison today is the most brutal and deadly prison in the world. Yes, we're talking about penal colony number six, not to be confused with the penal gland. Very different things. Also known as the Black Dolphin Prison, which is represented because one of the prisoners sculpted a black dolphin and put it outside of the prison. Makes it look all happy inside, right? I don't know. Anyway, this prison is located in Russia, and Russia has one of the most high prison populations of all time. Besides the US. And they're notorious for their like insanely inhumane living conditions that they treat the prisoners. Like this prison is compared to Soviet gulags. I don't know if you've played Call of Duty or Nazi concentration camps. Like that's how bad this is. But quick backstory, it was made in 1745, so it's super old. Like we're talking about my great grandma type old. And it's basically only for people that are serving life sentences in prison. We're talking crazy murderers, terrorists, cannibals, serial killers, child molesters. Like there's a reason why these people are life sentence jail. But before we talk about this prison brutality and these horrible conditions, let's talk about the merch. <laughs> Last week, our first Explore line of 2021 for 25 by 25 came out. Staple collection. I just want to say thank you for checking it out and supporting us. Obviously, merch is the best way to support us. Today is Saturday, so it might honestly be sold out. But if you want to go check it out, go to shopexplore.com. Maybe there's something left. All right, all right, all right. Now the part they've all been waiting for. What the does this prison do that's so brutal that it made it on the worst prison of all time list? Basically, everything lives and breathes security. Like when you first walk into this prison, not that I know from experience, you wouldn't even know that there are prisoners there. There's just security everywhere and it's absolutely silent because every single prisoner is isolated. Every single prisoner is in their own cell with these super heavy metal walls that allow for zero sound. So you're basically in solitary confinement no matter what. Not only that, but they spend 22 and a half hours per day in that one cell. And mind you, that cell is two square meters. Smaller than right there behind me. And they can't even sit in their bed for the entire day after they've done sleeping. So like 16 hours of the day, their bed is up and they just have to stand there. What the fuck are they doing? So this prison uses a three door system. So they have like their main wall and then they have two cage doors on each cell for one dude. So like if you were able to, for some reason, get out of those three, there's not only 24 hour surveillance, but guards go around every 15 minutes. So like you would have to be perfectly timed with this if you were able to get out. But here's the thing. There's no way that you understand the layout of the prison. When guards transport a prisoner from point A to point B, no, it's not like your regular prison where people handcuff you and you walk around with a couple guards. They handcuff the prisoner, blindfold them, bend them over so their like head is below their waist, and walk them from the back while blaring heavy metal music, all to disorient them. And most of the time, because the guards just do whatever they want, while these people are walking back and forth, they just beat beat them and punch them the entire time and scream in their faces. This is all to disorient the prisoner so that in no way, shape, or form that they could understand the layout of the prison and make an escape. So basically these prisoners have it like horrible. They're only allowed four visits per year. And you know how I said like 22 and a half hours a day are spent in their cell? The only other part is one hour of exercise, which isn't even exercise. You don't get outside. All you get is a slightly bigger room where barely you can just walk back and forth. And there's, there's no like machines or anything. And then the other half, they have to like be put to work like, to earn like money for food and whatnot like that. Every single cell door at the end of the three like doors has the prisoner's name and the crime that they committed blatantly like put right there. Every single time the guards walk by or do something to the prisoner, they don't have to feel bad because they realize how much of a criminal that they're working with. They don't have to feel bad about beating the living poo poo out of this prisoner. Okay, so now you know how the prisoners live. Let me tell you why this is the most brutal 
prison in the world. These prisoners are treated horribly. They're not sentenced to these tortures. They're just tortured all the time. Random electric shocks, daily beatings, like I said, every single time that they move a prisoner, they beat them and shout at them like constantly. It, like it is so brutal. There, there was this one prisoner, his name is Roman Sarachev. He literally died three hours after he arrived at the prison due to the beatings. Right off the bat, like imagine you're about to live a lifetime sentence in prison and before you can even get to your cell, you're dead. That's how brutal this place is. But apparently I did some more research and it is kind of common in Russia for prisoners to die from getting like beaten to death by guards. Just in 2019, there was 2,700 prisoners in like the country that died from like prison guard torture. But in the Black Dolphin, I feel like it's a little bit different. Like there was one case where a guard just walked in on a dude sleeping, minding his own business and just like suffocated him with a sheet. It's like, he had no reason to do it. He was just like, yep, yeah, dead. Why? And like another guard, you know, this saw this person is reading and was like, you know what? I'm gonna shove a bookshelf so far into this guy's skull that he's gonna die immediately. What? And obviously we don't even know a percentage of what actually goes on. Like obviously these guards aren't just like saying, hey, yeah, I killed this guy. Like, no. The things that we know of this high security prison are probably nothing compared to what actually happens inside those doors. And let's say something does happen, they get extremely injured or they become sick. There's like no medical help at all. The guards purposely delay any help or care as long as possible. And this prison was made in 1745, so it's not like ideal for like the modern sanitation stuff. There's epidemics and disease like happening all the time to everybody. And a third of the deaths come from those diseases that they just decide, you know what, I'm not gonna treat it. Imagine like going into a doctor's office and they're like, no, it's all good. It's like, that's this prison. But let's get down to what you're really interested in, the actual prisoners. Like why are these people in the most brutal, prison in the world. So let's start off with this. As of right now, there are 700 prisoners in the Black Dolphin prison. Now between those 700 prisoners, they've killed over 3,500 people. That's five murderers per person. Holy skadooshers. If you don't like hearing about this stuff or like bad things happening to people, then I would click off this video or at least use discretion going forward because it gets really gruesome. Just wanted to put that out there. So there's this guy, I think his name's pronounced Alexei Pachugin, and his crime is like one of the most calm and reasonable of the entire prison. And this is what he did. In his business that he was in, he killed all four of his immediate rivals. A murderer of four business rivals is like the most reasonable out of the entire prison. Wow. That is setting the bar very high for the rest of everybody. Like what? There's this other guy, Nikolai Ostenkow. He brutally killed an entire family of five and then dragged all their bodies to a forest and burned them. Nice. Probably deserves to be there. Here's a weird one. Vladimir Nikolaev. He accidentally like killed this guy during a drunken fight. Yeah, cool. You're drunk, you kill people, whatever. Pretty bad. But after the murderer, he dragged his body back to his place. So he proceeded to cut the body, boil it on a stove, and start eating it. He wanted to you know, test it out. How does human taste? He didn't really like it, so he decided, what if I take a different piece and uh, deep fry it? Everything's good deep fried, right? And that is when he said, oh yeah, human is scrum diddly umptious. Please don't clip that. But he couldn't finish the whole body himself. Oh, dang. So what he started to do is invite his friends over and put them into like dumplings and convince his friends to eat the body with him without their knowing. He basically forced cannibalism on other people. Okay, now this next guy is one of the worst murderers slash criminals in the entire history of the world. So Michael Popkov apparently committed 81 rape and murders that he was able to confess to. There's probably way more that he did in his life or like other things that were bad. This was just what was found out by the Russian criminal system. He was literally so infamous that the Russian media called him the werewolf. Like this guy was bad. This last one is the most interesting of them all. Gambar Makamudov. Like I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. He is a 55 year old murderer and he is one of the only people to ever be released. But randomly, his only one wish was to go back. Like in 2018, he was released after an 11 year sentence for his murders. And instead of going home, he got on the train and immediately went on this killing rampage. Started stabbing people with like kitchen knives or anything they could get his hands on. And when police arrived and you know, he went to the court, his only one dying wish was to go back to the Black Dolphin prison. 
what dude what is going on and one like isn't prison supposed to teach you not to kill? But here's the thing, what you've all been waiting for, no, not a single person ever has been able to escape the Black Dolphin prison. And that might be a good thing, you're not supposed to escape prison. And not even just escaping, but like even being released. Like hardly anyone ever is released from prison. There's only been a few ever. Literally the lieutenant at the prison always says the only way to leave is by dying. And that's how basically everybody goes. But this was really, really interesting to look into the Black Dolphin because this is the type of stuff that you'll like hear about in movies, you know? Like this is like a fairy tale, like oh my God, this is the worst. And with that being said, if you want me to react and review to other like worst blanks, please give this a like. The only way I know that you like these videos is if you like the video. And tomorrow our next video of 25 by 25 comes out. So guys, make sure to go subscribe, like it. We go scuba diving, which is our biggest fear ever. It's awesome. Grab the merch. if it's it's not already sold out by now, shopexplore.com, and I'll see you next week with another video. Adios! <laughs>